A big surprise for three nonprofits in Southern Dallas County today. Each got a grant from the Wells Fargo Foundation. Fox 4 Sean Rabb in Dallas tonight with the story. Sean. Yeah, Steve, and the three nonprofits shared $300,000 in grant monies. Listen, the three organizations building lives, building homes, and building hope. This last one, for what we're going to look at today, is our wall of athletic significance. The leadership of Wells Fargo on a tour with the Dallas Regional Chamber in Southern Dallas. I told you all the reason why the DRC wants to do these tours is not to spectate, it's for us to tell the story and the message of what's happening in Southern Dallas County. The change agents, the organizations, the, 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 the people who are making things happen for this community. Paul Quinn College, symbol of transformative change and recognized by Wells Fargo. On behalf of the Wells Fargo Foundation, we're so inspired by the great work that the college is doing and will continue to do, that we want to be a part of that, and so our contribution is $100,000 for uh. the college. The monies will support Quinn's urban work college model. Students who come to the HBCU and live on campus get a job. People don't invest in places they expect to fail. They invest in places they want to see succeed. And Wells Fargo understands that the work we do is critically important, that we're succeeding at a very high level, and they want to be a part of that. And we are thrilled that they feel that way. Paul Quinn, one of three nonprofits getting attention and grant assistance from the Wells Fargo Foundation. In the areas of housing access, entrepreneurship, and small business growth. Including $150,000 towards Builders of Hope, developing affordable housing in West Dallas, Oak Cliff, and Pleasant Grove. 500 plus homes have gone up in the past 25 years. And here is a gift from us to say thank you. $50,000 grant to the Dallas Entrepreneurship Center at Redbird Mall. The DEC supports startup businesses focusing on women and people of color. So the grants that we're providing helps fuel the work that these organizations do, where they provide um, affordable housing, small business workshops here at the D Dallas Entrepreneurship Center, or to look at Paul Quinn College, where they're providing students with the opportunity to go to college almost debt-free. So, a uh, really great story today. Listen, all of the groups knew that the Chamber of Commerce was on this vision tour. New folks were coming, but Steve, they had no idea about the grant or the grant amounts. So, as you can imagine, a lot of smiles and happy feelings. Oh, yeah. Big surprise. Sean, thank you so much.